Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a discussion video similar to ones that I've put out before except this one at this time is going to be based on YouTubers that I really like to watch. And this isn't like YouTubers that I have in my subscription list because there's 300 of them and sorry I was finding the right page in my book. It will take forever to go through all of them if I do all of them. These are just ones that I love to watch because I know them or because I enjoy their content and it's not just beauty YouTubers, so if you're looking for something a little bit different, there are some here that are game related, if you want to try that out. The first one is Erin, obviously. Uh, you've heard me talk about Erin on my channel before, she's one of my best friends, and she's amazing, she's really lovely. You should watch her and support her, because she doesn't have that many subscribers, and she definitely deserves a lot more. There's Amanda D and Jessica. I put, them, I put them together because they're always grouped together or always considered together. You would never see one without the other and you would never include one without the other because they're a pair, they come as a pair as far as I'm concerned. Which is fine because I love both of them and again they're great ladies. They are the founders of the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. So if you're into collabing, project planning, that kind of thing, then you need to be part of the Facebook group. which. I, by the way, I will link every single channel that I talk about in the description box. But I will also link the Facebook page for Fantastic Ladies in the description box as well. So if you wanted to see what that's about, then you're more than welcome to do so. I have Elizabeth Christensen. Christensen. I'm not sure I ever pronounce her surname right, to be honest. Elizabeth, let me know how you pronounce your surname so that I can pronounce it correctly next time. But she is a lady from Denmark, and she has super, super long hair, and her eyeshadow looks are always amazing. And you should go and check her out. She is another project panning lady, and her content is super amazing, and she has a really cute cat. There is Renee Lucia. She's a lady that I don't know, and I don't know if she knows even if I exist. She is a young 20-something who lives in California. She, I, I find her content hilarious, but that might just be my sense of humour. She has a very dry sense of humour, and I think that's something typical that most British people enjoy. So it might not be for you, but you should definitely check her out. And I know that some people don't like watching people who are amazingly young. They'd prefer to have an older, an older person to watch because they are older themselves, and that's fine. But as an older person who feels that way, I still definitely enjoy her content, so it's definitely worth at least stopping by her channel. Before we move on to the more popular ones, I have That Galloway Girl. Now, she's not put anything up recently, and I don't know if that's because she's quit, or if she's just busy right now. She has two young kids, both under five, so I imagine her life is really, really busy, but she's a project planner and an Avon rep. So she's always got tons of beauty stuff. One of my favourite things to watch from her is like her declutters or her project pans or when she actually uses and organises her stuff. She does like a skincare basket which kind of inspired me to also do, the sim do a similar thing which I might, I'm still considering whether or not I actually want to do it but it's kind of inspired me. But she just, I love seeing her work through her, because she has so much stuff it's nice to see her progress through her stuff and her empties and how much she actually uses. This is just really fascinating to me. And the last one is another British YouTuber actually. Again, she has no idea who I am. Is Phoebe from Phoebe HB. She is a university student, um, again in her young 20s. But she also has become very popular recently. And by very popular, I don't mean hundreds of thousands, I mean like within the panning community she's become quite popular so you should also check out her channel her videos are also quite entertaining in terms of watching her sort through stuff that she has a uni versus stuff that she has a home that kind of thing young wild and polished which i'm sure you've heard of i probably don't need to go into too much detail about her channel but she started off doing nail polish reviews and she still kind of does do nail polish reviews but she's branched out and become more like makeup artistry kind of reviews as well but she does a lot of trustworthy reviewing of products so I always look at her channel first and another person that I also trust for a really honest review is the fancy face and she has a dark, she has a deeper skin tone so it's nice to see how the difference between 
what works for different skin tones and it's kind of helped me learn a lot about makeup artistry in terms of different colour skin tones. So I enjoy watching her channel. She's also hilarious and Jamaican and the two combined just I find really entertaining. So yeah. And then Jess Face 90 um, and Jess is a nail polish YouTuber. She swatches and reviews all different kinds of makeup and all different kinds of nail polish including her own brand. And I just find the way she does her swatching and the way she talks and everything just kind of relaxing and soothing and it's not something that I'd fall asleep to because it's also entertaining in the same instance and again I really trust her reviews to be honest so so that's the YouTubers I know there's not a lot on there but these are the people that as soon as they put out a video I'll go straight there and watch or I'll sit there and watch catch up one after the other after the other for hours on end just of their one channel so that's why there aren't that many in terms of like my 300 subscribers if i haven't included you and you're watching this and one i'm not subscribed to you please tell me your channel so that i can go and subscribe to you but also two please don't be offended that you're not on my go-to watch list it does change quite frequently in terms of who i find entertaining at the time and who I might be enjoy. this is just who I'm enjoying right now, it doesn't mean that I've not enjoyed your channel in the past or I won't in the future, it just means that these are the ones my go-to's right now in this instance. And my non-makeup related ones are four gaming related ones and the first three are Sims related, so uh, actually all four of them are kind of Sims related, so the, let's do the last one then, Captain Source. Captain Source used to be a Sims YouTuber and that's how I found him, whereas he was the only Sims YouTuber that I found entertaining at that time. And this just goes to show my tastes, really, and like the, how often I change my tastes, because the people who are in my list today, I couldn't stand before. Even though I enjoyed watching The Sims, and playing The Sims, I couldn't watch these Sims YouTubers, and Captain Source was the only one I could watch, because he was just so funny and so entertaining. And now he doesn't play The Sims anymore, because his channel has become more than just a Sims channel, and his current subscriber count, in terms of what they enjoy, only about 5% of us now are Sims watchers, so he's not playing The Sims anymore, because he was finding it very difficult to put our content. And then because only about 10%, 5% of us were Sims watchers, he was getting very low view count, which I completely understand. So now he does other things. He does a lot of VR stuff and a lot of indie games, a lot of random games that nobody's ever heard of before. He very rarely does like AAA games. For If you watch AAA games, you should go to Markiplier, who I used to enjoy watching and he did help me fall asleep in terms of like anxieties and things. But... Yes, Captain Source, you definitely have to go and watch if you enjoy hysterical, just mucking around while playing games, really. And the three Sims YouTubers that I'm watching, the ones that I will watch every single video that they put out, if I see a notification on my phone, then I'll watch it within like an hour of them notifying me on my phone. And that's James Turner. He is Australian. He's from Sydney, Australia. And he plays The Sims for EA. He's like a game changer. He gets all the games and stuff. In fact, all three of these people are EA game changers, so they get the packs early so that they can put out promotional content and things. And there's Deligracy, who I'm pretty sure if you play The Sims you've heard of Deligracy. She is also Australian. She lives she lives in Melbourne, Australia. And again, she does EA game changer, like early access to packs and stuff. And she has her own custom content that she did with Grim Cookies which is amazing. I have it in my game, which reluctantly I did put CC in my game. I don't like putting CC in my game because it causes a lot of bugs and issues, but I figured that with the new expansion coming out uh, in the middle of November, I could just have a play around quickly and then remove it before I put anything else in my game in terms of like actual pub published content. So I'm just messing around right now, basically. And the last one is Lil Simsy, and Lil Simsy is American. She is, she lives in Florida and she's 20, I don't know if she's 20 or if she's 21. Um, she's still quite young, but she is so funny. She's so, so funny. 
She's very, again, she has that dry, quick wit and it's just hysterical. Even David enjoys watching her videos and he has, he doesn't play The Sims, he doesn't want to play The Sims. He has no interest in Sims content, but yet he still loves her videos. And actually she, her boyfriend lives in England. I think he lives in Brighton or he lives in London and they come to Brighton a lot, but I've not met her. So obviously I keep missing her. But then there's um, a Brighton YouTuber, Imagination, who I used to watch, don't watch her anymore because I find her quite fake. But she actually also lives in Brighton and I was watching her for years and I never met her, still haven't met her. So, you know, Brighton is obviously a big place. But anyway, that's my YouTubers that I'm currently obsessed with. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you found some new channels to go and subscribe to. You should definitely at least check them out if it's your kind of content that you're interested in. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye.